and welcome back to Saturday's Sports Special Football Now. Jamaica's reggae girls will be hoping for win number two when they face their Chilean counterparts in the second of a two-game friendly international series. This will be at the Montego Bay Sports Complex on Sunday. Karen Madden looks ahead. The reggae girls are high on confidence following their 1-0 victory over Chile on Friday. It was a game the Jamaicans could have won by a wider margin had they converted all their chances in a game they bossed. On Friday, the Chilean head coach Jose Letelier, speaking through an interpreter, bemoaned his team's inability to score on the Jamaicans after putting in a better second half. On Sunday, he could feel some players who did not feature at the national stadium. Que el, que el juego nuestro nos lleve a conseguir lo que lo que uno realiza cuando juega, que, que es tratar de ganar el partido. Yeah, for the second game in Montego Bay, um, we are expecting to repeat what we did on the second half, which is the which was our best performance during the whole game. Um, we're also going to be we're also going to be taking a look at, at some new players, some players that didn't have the opportunity today to show um, all their performance and um, and we expect to do that we expect to to play our game to be to be in control of the game and, and the Jamaican coaching staff also want to use the opportunity to look at some new players well it's just personal change I mean tactically we'll probably you know we'll probably look at some things after film but you know, we feel like a lot of the a lot of the breakdowns was our fault tonight. So that's something we just have to fix. But um, you know, we we're just gonna do personal changes. I mean, we have a style of play that we're gonna stick with. We're athletic. We look to counter you, and that's that's no secret. <laughs> you know, in the World Cup, I mean, everybody knows how Jamaica plays, and you gotta be ready for, to run with us. And that's just we just have to be a little bit more fitter to sustain that mentality throughout the game. And Jamaican fans and players will get a chance to see the FIFA Women's World Cup trophy during a ceremony at the Montego Bay Sports Complex ahead of Sunday's game. Karen Madden, TVJ Sports.